Statistics is a messy business, and if we're going to be doing some experimental design, we better first learn how to clean up after ourselves. And in our very first experimental design, we'll be looking at how paper towels absorb water, because what's more exciting than that? For our contenders, we have Bounty, a classic US company, been around for a while. We have Sponge Towels, the Canadian competitor, with this uh, peculiar guy on the front who makes me a little uncomfortable to have in my basement. And lastly, we have Western Family Ultra, the generic brand that you could probably only find in Western Canada. So let's see how they stack up. If you're a 21st century data scientist, then your research plan probably goes something like this. Step one, collect tons of data. Step two, find something interesting to study about that data. But if you want to do research like a 20th century boss statistician, then you have to carefully design an experiment, and that's exactly what this series is about. The design and analysis of experiments, just like Fisher would have done back in the day. All right, so how do we design an experiment? Well, step one, we have to determine what hypothesis you want to test. For example, is there a significant difference in the absorbency of various paper towel brands? Step two, determine how to test your hypothesis. For example, what sample size do I need? In what order do I test my each case? How can I control for confounding variables and other things that have to be considered? In this example, I measured the weight of these paper towels after being submerged in a bowl of water. Ten towels from each of the three brands were tested, and the order of testing was randomized. And this is a key point. When performing an experiment, randomize everything you can to avoid potential confounders. Things can change when you're performing an experiment, like the accuracy of your measuring tools, the ambient temperature in the room, and a lot of other things. Randomization will help us avoid such confounders. Then step three is to actually perform the experiment. So let's do that now. And step four, look at the data and analyze it. For this data set, there's some weak evidence that Bounty is performing better than the other two brands. However, it's not clear at this point for at least two reasons. Reason one is that the sample size of 10 towels per group is too small to determine if a slight difference in performance is actually statistically significant. And two, my measurement tool, this Cuisinart kitchen scale, is only accurate to the gram. If I had a scale for measuring very light objects with finer fidelity, that might improve the uh, data collected. Or instead, we could try measuring the weight of more than one paper towel. So what we're going to do is take four towels at once, saturate them in water, and see if we can get better results by giving the scale something heavier to measure. So let's try that experiment now. But first, we have to re-randomize the experimental order. is now a very significant difference between Bounty and the other two brands, but no significant difference between Sponge Towels and Western Family brand. We could similarly devise another follow-up experiment just to test those two brands, but I'm done wasting paper towels for today. This is a simple example of designing a one-way ANOVA experiment. Next time, we will design an experiment that will consider multiple factors. See you there.